<laughs> oh, hello, children. Are you ready for a story? Oh, wonderful. Hmm. Yoo hoo! <laughs> Once upon a time, in a small village nestled in the hills, there lived a shepherd boy. Every day, he'd take the village's sheep up the hill and out into the fields. There, the sheep would roam about and nibble on the green grass. Every so often, a sheep would wander off, and so the boy would climb onto his trusty steed, which was really just a stick, and trot about in search of his lost treasure, that is, his sheep, and finally guided back to the flock. Otherwise, not much else would happen. Each day went by the same as the day before. One day, the shepherd got to thinking, hmm, being a shepherd is so boring. I wish something exciting would happen. Like, oh, what if a wolf came around? Oh, I'd have to use my sword, that is, his stick, and chase that mean old wolf away. Oh, suddenly, he got an idea. What if I fooled the villagers into thinking that there was a wolf? <laughs> They'd all come running. Now that would be a sight to see. Hmm. Why not? I'll do it! And so, the boy cried out, Wolf! Wolf! <gasps> In no time at all, the boy could see the villagers scrambling to find sticks and stones, and they quickly came racing up the hill. Where's the wolf? They called out. Duh. Sorry. It was just a crow in the bushes. Oh, <sighs> The villagers sighed with relief and returned to the village. Once they were far enough, the boy burst out laughing. <laughs> that was great! Now that is what I call fun! And so, the boy spent the rest of the afternoon giggling and proud of how he had fooled the entire village. The following day, the boy was counting how many times one of the sheep had been chewing on one mouthful of grass. Mm -hmm. 152? Mm -hmm. 153? Mm -hmm. Boring! Oh. <gasps> Suddenly, he had an idea. Actually, it was the same idea as the day before. <laughs> wolf! Wolf! Once again, the villagers ran up the hill. Where is it? Where's the wolf? Um, well, it was just the wind. Hmm, the villagers now seemed a bit irritated. But to the boy, <laughs> it was just a game. The next day, the boy was up to his tricks again. <laughs> wolf! Wolf! But this time, hardly any villagers came running up the hill. No, oh, so much for that game. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Later that day, the boy was lying on the ground, looking up and imagining the clouds to be fire-breathing dragons. When suddenly, he heard something in the bushes. He sat up and looked around. It must be the breeze. But then, he heard a twig slap. Oh, hello? Is anyone there? Another twig slap. Oh, hello? Then, all at once, the sheep lifted their heads and sniffed the air. And that oh, is when the shepherd's heart began to pound. He slowly stood up and held his stick tightly. And then he saw him, a big gray wolf. His hungry eyes were glowing. 
him. A chill ran down the boy's spine. He used all of his strength to cry out. Wolf! <laughs> Wolf! But no one came. Then, as if on cue, all the sheep began to run about. Meh! 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 Now that caught a villager's attention, and she cried out, Wolf! Wolf! The villagers started running up the hill, collecting stones. Within moments, a rock landed beside the wolf. Then another, and another. The wolf began growling and howling, until one rock hit him right in the snout. The wolf whimpered with pain and ran off, never to be seen again. The shepherd boy had learned some very important lessons that day, and from then on, he enjoyed the peaceful time he spent with his beloved sheep. The end. Hmm. Come on now, it's time to go to sleep. Oh, he doesn't want to go to sleep. <laughs> He's so full of stories. He has so much energy. Shh, shh. Time to sleep. You too. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>